डिटेल ऑनलाइन स्टडी पॉइंट एंड टुडे द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ इनोवेशन इन एजुकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इज पर्सनाइल सिस्टम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन इन एजुकेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी इन शॉर्टकट वी ऑल्सो नोन इट लाइक पी एस आई तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू इंट्रोडक्शन दिस इज वन ऑफ द स्लाइड आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट इन विच द हिस्ट्री ऑफ पी एस आई इज देयर द प्रोग्राम ऑफ पी एस आई पर्सनाइज सिस्टम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉज डेवलप्ड बाई फ्रेड कैलर एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द कैलर प्रोग्राम uh because keller project also because dr fred s keller as you can see in the picture he was the main exponent of the system and he had developed it with his three uh, associate sherman gel and bori in the year 1963 uh, it was one of the behavioral uh, he was one of the experimental behavioral uh, physiologist and also worked with sherman bori and j j in it 1963 the psi is also uh, famously known as keller keller plan and this uh, psi system uh, majorly it is used widely in higher education so psi is basically used in higher education as a innovative tool for uh, making the teaching learning process easy and effective now what is psi so uh, it is a kind of in innovation it is a kind of program in which uh, the whole system is you can say individual oriented individual oriented or you can say it is personal person or uh, person oriented it is basically Clearly, uh, our program in which the program is the whole uh, course is divided into small units, and or you can say a student is expected to acquire specific learning skills. The system expects every student to learn the learning material very well. So mastery is very very important here. So the system of instruction in which the course is divided into uh, lectures, assignments, uh, objectives. When student feel he has achieved mastery in certain content, then he is tested, and if successful, then he is uh, given the next unit for learning. The whole course is divided into units. Once mastery is gained, first unit, then exam is there. and then second unit is presented before the student to learn so objective of uh, psi is first of all it is basically to establish a better personal social relationship because there is uh, one teacher one student ratio in psi so when uh, some students gain mastery they become the proctors of the um, uh, school and they will uh, help and act as a facilitate the student as a teacher so uh, objective first one is to establish the better personal social relationship second is the frequent reinforcement for learning is there because mastery is important third the frequency and quantity of the feedback uh, is given which is very meaningful for revision decrease the reliance on the lecture utilize different different techniques and evaluate on the basis of fixed standard of the mastery once the mastery is gained or acceptable level of performance is there by the student then only they provide the next content to the students now steps in psi to say, uh, there are uh, five major uh, uh, steps first step is self facing so here the student learn on the basis of their own psychological uh, uh, you can say their own psychological needs their uh, freedom their abilities when a student feel that he has mastered the given unit he prepares the for the unit test in order to display the mastery and gain that thing and first to such first point is self facing because it is totally individual oriented second is use of multimedia so uh, there is uh, there are use of applications multimedia whatever the 
रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द टूल्स आर देयर दे आर यूज थर्ड इज यूज ऑफ प्रॉक्टर्स तो देर आर स्टूडेंट्स हु गेन सर्टन मास्टरी अ टीचिंग प्रॉक्टर आल्सो कॉल्ड द स्टूडेंट असिस्टेंट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव कंप्लीटेड देयर कोर्स आर एम्प्लॉयड एज प्रॉक्टर्स तो देयर चीफ फंक्शंस इज टू टीच स्टूडेंट एज वेल एज टू एनालाइज स्टूडेंट्स सो दीस प्रॉक्टर्स आर बेसिकली हु दे आर स्टूडेंट्स who have completed their course or you can say the they have gained the mastery they are uh, they are uh, used or trained or uh, you can say uh, employed as proctors fourth is mastery learning as i have told you earlier also the uh emphasis is given on mastery learning so importance of paper work is also there and as well as by mastering learning in the system it means to achieve the desired mastery level before proceeding to the next unit so the mastery level determinant is about 90% of the unit that that's that is must have to be learned very deliberately by the student and once the student gained that mastery level he is uh, taken he has taken the he will be giving some exams and then he will uh, provided the next assignment or you can say the next unit so the teacher carefully prepare all those assignment for the students divide into different units by the taking the strategies or the objectives of the teaching and then uh, the student will be presented that course until the required mastery level is not achieved the student is not given the next unit and fifth is importance of written record because in this system the entire instruction is carried out by the written word so written word or material is the self instructional program or regular textbook or text guides written for this purpose so uh, you can say self instruction programs are there so they will uh, basically act as a instructions for the students study guides are there they are important they do the work of communication between the proctor or the student so uh, study guide is very very important here which is uh, prepared by the teachers very carefully advantages of psi uh, there are many advantages like own pace of learning no negative reinforcement is given to the student uh, student readiness is checked before giving them on uh, the learning proficiency learning there because positive reinforcement is there or uh, you can say that there are immediate feedback and continuous formative evaluation are there conducted in psi for motivating the students in the system and first and uh, last and most important is that there is no expensive tool used in educational technology here uh, for teaching so there is no expensive tools there some examples of psi because most university students already learn the course platform like webct and blackboard and these are the examples one on one tutoring mentoring online courses search engines corporate training examples these are the examples of ps psi example in in simple or in similar way uh, if you want to com compare psi you can do it by uh, martial arts or taekwondo in this type of courses there where one thing is mastered and then next thing is uh, given to the students and some of the students make they they make them uh, employ them as proctors which will teach the uh, students who are uh, learning on their own pace so i have just compared that that you have uh, idea of psi but this psi is generally used in a uh, higher education and it is been deliberately uh, deliberately deliberately using by uh, the used by the many many kinds uh, of psychologist educationist in their uh, courses and especially in corporate training examples thanks for watching yandara please like share and subscribe the channel and in our next video we will learn about cai computer assisted instructions